All right, boys and girls, you're stuck at home this week, so we're going to do a lesson about value that only uses crayons and paper. If you had paint, you might want to try and use some watercolor paint as well. First, we'll take our paper and fold it like a hamburger. And then open it up again. We'll be using it vertically, not horizontally. So, with the bottom of your paper, we're going to draw a line to create some ground. Maybe I'll make two lines. They don't have to be perfect at all. Notice how I left a little space between the middle and that line right there. Now I'm going to come up to this side of my paper and make a circle about as big as my fist. Right here. Just a nice big circle. That will be the moon. And now I'm going to draw a simple tree that starts at the top of this line and goes up and off the page. And on the other side, it's going to start thick and get thinner all the way up. Now I'm not quite finished drawing. I want to add some branches to my tree. The branches are thicker at the bottom and skinnier as you go up. And they kind of reach up toward the sky and they can go off the paper that's just fine if you want to stop there that's fine I'm going to add just one more branch that's pretty much the drawing we're going to be talking about value, which is how bright or how dark something is. So, we've got a light source. This is going to be the moon at night. Our sky will be dark because it's nighttime. And our tree will be black. There's one more thing to add in. We have our light and we have our tree, but the light is going to cause a shadow from the tree. So I'm going to draw some lines on the hill. That means, or that represents a shadow that we'll draw in later. You can use your crayon or your paints even a marker to color this tree in. Now that I've colored my tree in black, I can think about the sky. I'm going to use some watercolor paints and before I do that, I'm going to take a white crayon and add a few stars in my sky. They're just white on white paper. But if the watercolor paint does what I think it will do, then you will see these white stars when the paint does not stick to the crayon. That's called a resist. A lot of you friends have paints at home. And so I welcome you to use them. All right. Mr. McAllister's watercolor set from home is a little bit different, but it's very similar to the kind of paints you use in class. The paints are dry, 
until I get them wet. Again, you can use crayons to color your sky a dark blue, but I'm going to use these paints because painting is fun. So I activate my paint with a little water and I'm just choosing blue. And then I start painting around the edges of my shape. Wherever the crayon was, the white crayon, the paint does not stick. And that's pretty fun. By now you can see I've got the moon and some stars in a dark sky with a dark tree. Here is the last part where we talk about a shadow. Wherever there's a light source, there's a cast shadow on the opposite side. So here's the tree. The sun is there. The moon is there. So the shadow is on the opposite side. I'm just going to use a regular pencil to give a gray shadow on the snowy ground. 